What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie here. If you're new, welcome. Today we are doing an RV packing video. This is everything that I like to bring with me, packing an RV and a camping trip. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a list that I've compiled for you. So sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy the vlog at the end of the video. Okay. I started off by packing these two bins I got from Target. They actually fold down and I really like them because they're thin and they're light and I keep all of our towels inside, okay? So we have towels for the beach and then we also have towels for the bathroom. And then I also bring this. It's a hanging laundry basket, so clothes aren't everywhere. You have limited space in an RV, so I definitely wanted to have something to put all of our dirty laundry and dirty towels in. And I just wanted to show you guys, this is how I pack all of our clothes in these packing cubes. So we don't have to touch the lining of the drawers inside the RV and we can just stuff everything inside and they stack really nice. So I really, really like doing that. Okay, so in this next bin, I have all of our blankets, baby blankets, whatever kind of blankets you could possibly think of that I needed, I put them in here. And then I put all of our baby diapers, which we're gonna use these throughout the trip. So I won't have to pack those on the way home. Next, I have this bin here. Oops, that's not supposed to go there. Okay, so this is basically a bag that I always have packed. And I bring this in hotel rooms, on whatever trips we go on, and it just makes it so easy to have everything ready to go. All right, so let's get into this. First thing, first aid kit. I'm just gonna give you guys a little peek on what's inside here. I put everything in these like individual bags so I can see things super easy. And I like the clear stuff so I can dig around in here or if my husband needs to find something. So we have everything you can possibly think of. It's like my little pharmacy in here. So I will stick all this inside. Okay, anywho, so this is my first aid kit. I love that it has a handle. I got this off of Amazon. I really, really like this. All right, so let's get into the next bag. Next bag, this is like all of our like day-to-day -day snacks. This is not like special snacks. Mama buys special snacks for the trip and the kids know that and they love it. But this is just like our everyday healthier snacks for the kids. I got baby snacks. Um, I put oatmeal packs in here, different Annie stuff. I get this squeeze from um, Amazon, which is really, really good. It, it has no sugar. I get organic Pop-Tarts. So every little kind of snack I get, I put it in here, okay? And I love how square these are. So you can just stack them on top of each other really nicely. Okay, then, I have baby food. I count how many days, how many meals she needs, and I bring like one day extra, just in case something spills or squirts out, and then I stick it in here, it has a handle. Everybody can see what's inside and know what we have, okay? So this is a hotel bag that I like to have. I always have this packed. It has Clorox wipes, hand sanitizer. I have Lysol spray, an extension cord. I have bug spray, batteries, and I also have quarters and tacks. And I know that seems like a weird item to have, but trust me, I've used them before. Okay, so that always stays packed as well. Then, this is our kitchen bag, okay? So obviously perfect for camping in your RV. And um, I usually cook stuff in my hotel room, so this is also packed. It has stevia, all of our sauces. I have spices in here. I have tahini. We have, and then we have syrup. I have toothpicks because I cannot live without toothpicks. I have a little knife. We have some little tongs. We have coffee creamer. Basically anything that goes in a kitchen or you think you might need because we are a sauce family, it's in here. I have this little mat. It's in the shape of a watermelon and it's from Daiso. I really like it because I put everything like this bin right on top of it so it stays clean and it doesn't get messed up. I stick that right on top of my plastic tablecloth. I have my baby's formula and two paper towels because you know with four kids it's a mess. My baby's just phasing out of her bottle so we're bringing that just for the end bottle. And then I have a whole pack of utensils, paper plates, I also have these really cool containers that pop down so I can mix stuff in them, I can store food and whatever, and they won't take up a lot of room. So that's really nice. But I have all of my paper products, and then I have this protein 
waffle mix, which is awesome because all you do is add water, so it's super easy. I bring a little mini waffle maker, and then of course my growler, can't forget that. Over here, this is our, what, we, what do we wanna call this? Like our picnic table bin, okay? We have spray, if we need to spray stuff down, our paper towels. I buy these from the dollar store, okay? So they wipe off super easy and they're super cheap. So my husband barbecues. We have this little kit we got off of Amazon and he'll use this to barbecue. We keep wipes in here and it's always good to have one of these bins. Transport stuff back and forth from the barbecue. This is really nice. So we keep everything in here. Okay, then, then I have this thing for my baby, okay? Okay, it clips to the table, okay? And she can eat her little snacks. This little tray comes off as well. It goes this way like this. Slides right onto the table. This is my little s'mores kit. I always have this packed and ready to go during the summertime. I always just replenish it as we need it, obviously. You guys know what you need. But I got these off of Amazon and you, these are these awesome marshmallow roasters. So everybody has their own. Boom. Isn't that amazing? That's really tough. Love it. And we all get our own color. Okay, next, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a really good hack if you're in a small space, a hotel room, RV, obviously in our case, but you hang this on the back of the door and you hang up your shoes. You can put your wallet, your cell phone, and you just keep everything here so you can find everything super easily. Okay, so next, we're obviously bringing an iPad. I'm not one to say that the screen should babysit your kid, but I'm definitely not one against it. All right, then we have these really cool headphones. I got these off of Amazon. These are for the little ones. These are super comfortable for him and he loves. These are super comfortable for him and he loves these, my little two-year-old. So we will put those here just in case we need some entertainment. <laughs> okay, next. I, this is like the special bin. This is stuff my kids do not normally have, and this is all new, everything in this basket. I got this basket from the dollar store, which I thought was super convenient. It's like the perfect size. But this stuff is gonna keep them happy on the long car ride. We have like a eight and a half, nine hour car ride. So I got this off of Amazon. My son loves these things. This is definitely gonna keep him busy. And I got this from the dollar store. It's a dry erase board and he loves Mickey Mouse. Then I also got him and my little baby girl this little book, Whose Feet. And then these are from the dollar store. I thought these were super cool. My son's into that, what is it called? Stop animation. Stop animation. So it has little Lego guys that he's gonna play with, which are also new for him. For my kids, from the dollar store, and it's by Crayola, which I thought this is a really good um, deal for being at the dollar store. But anyways, you color yourself and then you can go inside your picture that you just colored on the app. So I thought that was super cool. Worth more than a dollar for sure. Then I got some fun straws for, um, you know, just to make them look cute while we're on our trip, something special. So then I have glow sticks. Okay. All different glow sticks for the kids. And then this. This is what they've all been waiting for. All of the junk food from the dollar store. Kit Kats, Snickers, they love Cheez-Its. I don't normally give them Cheez-Its, so this is good. So anyways, we keep all the fun stuff in this basket. So this thing is really cool. I bring this when we go to hotel rooms because I have a lot of children and we need to keep things cold. Usually baby food. But in this case, we're bringing this with us in the RV and it is electronic. So you plug this in the wall and it's like a fridge. You don't need ice. I just have those things in there. But um, those help keep it colder is what I heard if you keep those inside. But you don't wanna put real ice in here because it'll mess it up. But anyways, I love this thing. You guys definitely need to check it out. And then I also bring, this is a cooler that we're bringing. I like this one. This is my favorite one. It's by Coleman and we're gonna put all of our food items in this one. All 
Our first stop was Santa Barbara. We stayed at a KOA and it was so much fun. We roasted marshmallows, we had dinner, and the kids brought out their scooters. We had so much fun. Our next stop on the California coastline was Monterey. Okay, you guys, you are about to witness my son seeing his dog for the first time in nine months. We just moved to San Diego and unfortunately we couldn't bring him with us. So my grandma has had him this whole time. And today is the day that they are going to be reunited. They have been together since they were both born. They are both 10 years old. And this is such a super exciting moment for everybody. And we're so happy to have him back. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and until next time, I'm always your girl, Lona Marie.